Okay, it's me again. Just got the uh, DTEK EQ2 Pro, and we're going to see how it works just on detection. Not going to try and go for depth, so I'm going to be doing the uh, vacant spaces here in the RV park. We'll see what we can come up with. So, we'll get back to you. Well, hi. I'm sitting here waiting to go into work, but I wanted to finish up this video. And uh, I'll let you guys know I'm really happy with this little EQ2 Pro coil. Now, I didn't give it a very fair test. It uh, was the RV park where I live. The spaces are all graveled. There's, uh, gosh, there's telephone cable, cable TV cable, uh, power lines, sewer lines, and water lines, all a couple of inches from the surface. So you really have to pick your way around. When I first got my E-Track, we were living here. We've lived here in this park for about four years now. Um, I first got my E-Track, I had the 11 inch Pro Coil and I had the uh, 5 by 9 Nell Sharpshooter. So I went through the park and I cleaned out what I could with the 11 inch Pro. Uh, had a lot of fits with it, had to run the sensitivity at about 10 and I even tried using uh, uh, TTF on it when I was running initially with it. Now I wasn't as experienced with it now I can use it, go through the park, and still pull coins in multi-conduct automatic. I don't do automatic plus three because I really don't want to go for depth in the park here. Don't want to be digging up the spaces. Might get myself thrown out. But uh, it, is, uh, it is a great little coil, that EQ2 Pro. I've got the DTEC accelerator for the Sovereign, and I've used that in the park. Even pulled myself a nifty little gold um, heart pendant with a purple stone in it with the uh, Sovereign one time in the park. So that's, uh, you know, that's what you kind of want to get. Um, anyways, today's test, like I say, was just with the uh, EQ2 set to automatic. Um, went through and hit areas that I had found iffy signals at before that I really didn't feel like going in after them because they were either a couple inches deep or they were too iffy or a little bit of both. Anyway, today I could really pick out some good tones and get some fairly decent numbers even with all the little garbage that was in there. Let's let those motorcycles go by. Uh, yeah, it's a problem sitting in your car with the windows uh, down. Anyway, I, uh, I did pull nine pennies, three dimes and a quarter. And like I say, I pulled them all from areas where it was high, high trash. I had to go painstakingly slow. That uh, that EQ2 will skip right over a target, and that's with fast off and deep on. So I may go back and do deep off and fast on next time and see what I can do. But I did, in fact, pull targets and pull coins from every spot that I had gotten the iffy signals and just not decided to dig before. Anyway, like I say, I really am impressed with this coil. I'll shoot a video using it, let you see the numbers, hear the tones, and uh, get a little bit better experience with it. But today I just had to go out and do a quick test. And by the way, Rob, big thumbs up, buddy. There, big thumbs up on that deal, Rob. I really appreciate it. It was a pleasure doing business with you. If you do business with anybody else, you can refer them to this video here. Um, you're great to work with. Man, you're a man of your word. So thanks again for the coil. We'll talk to y'all later.